Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Ron Wills. Keep addressing false beliefs. And as I've said in a simulcast before, these simulcasts are as much for me as they are for everyone else. And as I work through things, you know, I share, I share wisdom that I gained for myself, right? Now, not, not every single simulcast, but I'll, I'll say this about anyone that might not affect me directly. It'll be someone who's close to me or I know or, you know, someone gave me some wisdom or something, right? Or it might be on some observation. So ultimately, I'll say maybe, well, a good portion because everything affects everything, right? And recently, I got a good, I had a emotional revelation. And I'm not going to get into it um, publicly, the exact circumstances, but I had a false belief that I had been carrying for quite a few years, right? Quite a few years. And I was operating off of this false belief, right? And it, it involved, um, well, and that, that's getting too personal. But, um, but just in the past few days, I found about the truth. And this false belief, it originated in an um, incident um, quite a few years ago. And uh, starting from that particular incident, I had um, a particular belief about... Um, not only just, I'll just say certain circumstances, but particularly about my reaction. It was more about my reaction to it. And I thought, okay, I need to do this, that, and that, right? This is what I need to do. So, and this was it. And I for years, but I found out the truth of the incident. And it was actually cathartic for me. It really was. It really was. And it, once I let it go and I started seeing things the way they, way they properly were, it, it was a revelation. It was very moving to me, right? You know, one day, maybe in the future, I'll write about it, you know, <laughs> if it'll really help people. But I'm still too close to it right now. I'm still processing some stuff, right? But the bottom line is, and now that, that was me, but the bottom line for everybody is you have to you have to address a belief like if if like if you have a core set of actions that stem from an incident with a person as best as possible you need to find out the truth of it even if you have to wait a few years and then sit that person down and just say hey you know what this what happened when this happened what was up what was the real deal what was the thing going on right it's that deep you need to find out Right. Especially if you seeing that having a false belief is detrimental to you. And it always is. It always is. Because it was as I as I, I tell people, I'm a continual work in progress. Right. I don't know everything. I don't know everything I'm learning. And, you know, and that's part of the reason why I do these uh, simulcasts, because when I learn something, like I said, I share it. Right. So when I found this out, I was like, wow. And it, it gave me. It made me look at stuff just totally different. It made me, I mean, and I'm going to tell you what with a false belief too. A false belief can even affect your physical appearance. Right? For example, here's, here's a great example of that. Like if you have, someone has a false belief that they're less than other people, it's going to reflect in their posture, uh, what they wear, how they speak, and everything. Right? But if that false belief wasn't there, they would have a totally different posture. They would have more confidence in life, everything. People need to know. People need to know. Now, see, the problem with false beliefs, we get them from two sources. We listen to the, what people around us tell us, and those people don't always have their, their, our best interests at heart. That's one thing with that. Also, they dealing with their own false beliefs. So if they think that you're inferior because of your race or they think that you're uh, dumb because of your gender and they get to communicate that, that, that kind of imparts something, especially if you're receptive to it. But also we generate false beliefs based on our ego. Our ego will lie to us. 
our ego will lie to us, right? It'll tell us, it'll tell us anything. Because the purpose of the ego is to protect our psyche. So if our psyche can't handle something. Case in point, And I've seen this with a lot of women and a lot of men. They feel like that somebody was attracted to them or something like that. Or they forget that, okay, here's here's an example. Here's an example, right? Um, And I've had this before. I've had several women in my life who thought, you know, they thought I was attracted to them for a particular reason, right? Or no, here's a better way to explain it. And it's an amazing thing. Um, these women, like in the past, you, I would have women who would literally throw themselves at me, who I might not have been interested at first, but then I'd be like, oh, okay. But then when we get together and stuff, deal with each other while all of a sudden the narrative in their mind is, oh, Rom chased them. And I've had, I've had to say that a couple of times because I'm actually lazy about doing that. I'm real lazy about chasing because I'm actually I told people I'm actually introverted I'm not shy I'm just introverted so and I'd had to be really moved by you to chase you right so it's like they had a false belief based on their ego and I was just like no this is the case so it it did something to them it did it did something to them it was a good thing because it was false see the problem with false beliefs it causes us to make bad decisions because we're making it based on that false belief. You know, we take a course of action based on that false belief. You know, we might get into a profession or even a relationship or buy a home or make a major purchase, something based on that false belief. And since it was a false belief, it actually leads to a bad back, uh, outcome. It never leads to a good one. But once a person understands their beliefs and then possibly understand their value, because usually the false beliefs are, you know, they're going to be detrimental, right? You're not going to see the value of yourself. But once you understand that false belief, you're like, oh, wow. Maybe, maybe this is me, you know? Like a lot of dudes, like a... A lot of people have false beliefs around their own attractiveness. That, that's actually a very common one, right? They don't think they're as attractive as they are to people or the effect that they have on people, right? That's because they've listened to somebody tell them, oh, they're not attractive. And then, you know, people tend to, um, people tend to downgrade themselves anyway. Like, I've actually seen, like, very beautiful women who thought they were, like, average, and that's because of the false belief that they had, right? And as a result, they behaved accordingly. And the accordingly way was very detrimental. Like you, like sometimes if you see uh, somebody uh, putting up with some stuff in an abusive relationship, a lot of times because they don't, their false belief system believe, making them believe they don't have any value. So understand that. Understand that. So... You know, and, you know, just as an aside, it's amazing how I can do stuff like this. Because just when I said that, I had an insight into a friend's relationship that I need I need to help them with. So I'm not going to give that information out. But you, you, it actually, actually the main thing everybody needs to do, like really every single day is ask, is this really true? Is this the real deal? Because a lot of times we speculate, but can we say, okay, do we know for sure? You know, this is why. A lot of times we add stuff or our imagination go for it, then eventually, you know, the lie that we tell ourselves becomes a truth. You repeat it enough, it seems like the truth. Right? So anyway, address address those false beliefs. I mean, your life really depends on it. So... Peace and blessings, everyone. Keep rising and transforming.